Well, I've been waiting for this call for seven years this time, so I don't, I don't know. I kind of losing hope. But Daryl Jackson has too much to fight for. Children, family, and the bright future he still dreams about. He knows a new kidney will give him a new lease on life. Meanwhile, his life revolves around kidney dialysis four hours a day, three times a week. It's just hard on you. It's hard on your body. It's hard on your mind. Being the gift that gives in organ donation. Local comedian, community activist, and kidney recipient C.J. Richardson knows the angst Jackson and others feel as they wait for a kidney match. He recently shared this video on social media, celebrating seven years since a donor saved his life and stressing the importance of organ donation. He understands the significant racial disparities among organ donors in Virginia. According to LifeNet Health, while African Americans make up 19 percent of Virginia's population, they represent half of the patients on the state's organ transplant waiting list. The need is this. There are people waiting on the list, and unfortunately, some people die waiting. There are multiple ways that you can give life. Um, it doesn't have to be a deceased donor. It could be a living donor as well. So we have to get out in the field, and I constantly say it all the time, we got to educate our people. LifeNet Health's Kia Pot says family members of African-American potential donors are less likely to consent to their loved one being a donor. And African-American majority geographical areas show significantly lower levels of donor registrations. Sheehan Richardson, who often uses his comedy platform to raise awareness about organ donation, say the best thing to do is talk about it. So we have to make it like a household conversation, a day-to-day -day conversation. It, it, it doesn't have to be an uncomfortable conversation to discuss organ donation, which it is right now in some homes and communities. And that's why the numbers are so low. We've been a part of community events. We've helped sponsor, uh, for an example, this upcoming Saturday, we're gonna be a part of the back to school backpack event. We have uh, donated backpacks for that. Any opportunity that there is community there is a place to talk, to have a conversation. That's what we want to be. We want to build trust in the community. We want them to know this is who we are. We're trying to save lives, restore health, and give hope. Spreading knowledge, they hope, will be enough to get more donors to sign up and make a life-saving difference for Jackson and so many others. To become a donor, you can go to your local DMV or register at DonateLifeVirginia.org. And if you want to see if you're a match for Daryl Jackson, you can contact his care team at the VCU Medical Center. Go to WTVR.com for more information.